So the topic of violent rhetoric has become a national conversation, thanks to both Donald Trump uh, and the so-called MAGA bomber that has been sending devices to prominent Democrats all over the country. Now, many on the right, including President Trump, basically want you to believe that it's leftist rhetoric uh, that is causing violence here. Now, uh, some of that example is Maxine Waters when she said to go and challenge Republicans even when they're eating in restaurants. Now, none of that's actually violent. Uh, there's also Eric Holder. Now, Eric Holder said, oh, when they go low, we kick them. Now, that, that was a, uh, not a literal sense. It was a figurative sense. And later on, he said, look, I, that's not actually calling for violence. I'm saying in a, not a, a, a literal sense. I meant politically. And so, you know, we're talking about, yes, beating somebody at the polls, crushing them. Not literally, but figuratively, right? Uh, but anyway, uh, in reality, the rhetoric that we hear from the fringe right is actually incredibly violent. And not only that, but could actually lead to other violence, as in the case of the person that was sending out bombs. Uh, now, I have a good example of some of this rhetoric. Recently, Rick Wiles, host of True News, is trying to scare his audience into, you know, not only voting, which, look, that's kind of what they do on the right, is that they scare people as a way to motivate them to get out to vote. You can understand that. Um, but here's what they're saying about the Democrats, about the left. They think that the Democrats, he's saying that the Democrats are going to do terrible things, and that's why you need to get out. Terrible in what way? Is it policy-wise? Well, let me show you the video, and uh, we'll find out. This, this Marxist, communist, anti-Christ revolution that is in full bloom in the United States of America. Folks, make no mistake about it. This thing is anti-Christian. Yes. They hate God. These people are against God. These people love to abort babies. They love to promote sexual immorality. They, everything that drives them is in opposition to God yes. and his moral laws. That yeah. is the centerpiece of their agenda. They see God as the problem. Yes. They see God as the problem. Okay. So, uh, look, so far, insanity, right? None of that's true. There's a lot of Democrats that are Christians. In fact, the majority of America is still Christian. So that's insanity. Uh, as for people like me, well, I'm a godless atheist, right? Oh, you, you, you hate God. I can't really hate something that doesn't exist that I don't believe in. So, no, but it, what, what I do hate is when religion is in government and conversely, when government is in religion. I don't want either. That's why we need a wall of separation to protect both from the other. Because we've seen what happens when both happen, right? So I guess that's really more standard, right? Uh, but they're saying to a lot of the religious folks, because that's who his audience is, oh, the Democrats are going to take away your religion. They get into power, the, the, the godless communist Democrats, they're going to come in and they're going to they're take away your religion, right? That, and not only that, but abortion, 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 immorality. Uh, get out and vote. But it actually gets worse. Here's where Wiles starts really going off the rails. Listen to me. Every nation that has been taken over by Marxist communists, they immediately kill the pastors. They immediately kill Christians. They immediately burn the churches. Why? Because the cross is their enemy. Do not be fooled by what's happening in America. The people, these anarchists in America, their enemy is not the Republican Party. Their enemy isn't corporations. Their enemy is the church. They're coming against the church. Yes. And I've been warning people for years and years and years, you better get ready. You better be prepared. If these people ever get power, they're going to slaughter tens of thousands of pastors, tens of thousands of Christians. They will spill blood in America. 
That is their purpose. That is their objective. Wow. Uh, so, look, hey, that's, that's a lot of crazy. Um, but this guy has a lot of followers, right? And what he's saying is, get prepared. Get prepared. Now, you can say, oh, well, just get prepared to go out and vote. Keep them from getting into power. Keep the communists from getting into power. Which is, again, we're having this conversation that is absurd, right? Uh, and, okay, uh, that's one way you could take it. The other way is, get prepared, get your guns. Because the communists are coming. And by communists, he means Democrats, which is utterly absurd. The Democrats of today, uh, look, Democrats have never been communists, for one. Uh, but that's even more so true today. The uh, Democratic Party is corporatist. And the politician in America that is considered to be the most far-left politician here in America, Senator Bernie Sanders, right? Senator Bernie Sanders, in, in, in Europe, he would be considered a centrist. <laughs> and policies that he espouses and that the Democratic Party is actually starting to pick up. For example, Medicare for all, right? That is the centrist position. Things like free college in a lot of countries. That's the centrist position. Both parties, or I should say, uh, because there are more than uh, you know two parties in a lot of these countries, they're parliamentary systems. A lot of the main, main parties run on protecting these very things. So, look, it's absurd. But you see the aim here, right? The communists are coming, and the Democrats. And they're, not only are the communists coming, they're going to kill the Christians. They're going to murder the Christians. So get ready for it. That is an incitement. <laughs> that, that right there definitely feels like an incitement. And gee, I, I don't understand after watching that why somebody would send a dom Democratic politician a bomb. I, I, don't, I don't know why people are attacking Trump critics. I don't know why people are attacking prominent Democrats. Weird. I, I don't understand why. No, that's why. That kind of rhetoric. And people will listen to that. Certain people will listen to that and go, oh, my God, i got to protect myself from the communists. They're, they're coming to kill God. They're coming to kill the, all the pastors and all the religious people. No, that's horrible. And I would be against anybody who is actually trying to do that, as would a majority of the American people, as would 99.9% .9 of the Democratic Party. I insanity, right? This is, this is fundamentalism. It's this kind of insane fear-mongering from people like Rick Wiles that has created the situation of today, why it is so toxic. You want to sit there and blame, oh, it's the left wing. It's the left wing mobs. We're out here saying, hey, maybe, you know what, maybe should, we, shouldn't, we should actually do something about the cost of college and the cost of health care because it's too expensive. Communists, you want to murder us all. No, we don't. <laughs> that's, that's not something... And it's amazing how there are people out there that can turn a, an ideology that says, hey, you know what? We should care about our fellow Americans and our fellow people uh, and use our collective money to try and fix some of the problems uh, in America so that we can all get, have health care and shit. It's amazing that people can turn that around and to say, you want to murder everybody. It's crazy. But again... Right-wing fear-mongering. This is what you get. So it's not a surprise that people, like, are, are so in their own universe.